What we're going to be going over here is uh, an example here for carry backs and carry forwards for net operating losses. And what we're going to have uh, for our ground rules here for our carry back, we're going to be able to carry the losses back here. Uh, two years here, that's for that net operating loss. And for our carry forwards, let's just say we can carry these net operating losses forward here five years. So this is what our example is here. We're going to have some pre-tax financial income that we're going to be given here for each of the years here, 20x1 through 20x7. And then we also have to be given the tax rate here. So for years 20x1 here and 20x2, we're going to have a 35% tax rate. And then 20x3 here through 20x7 will have a 30% tax rate. So what we're going to have to deal with in this example here is we're going to have some profitable years here that we're showing and we're going to really be looking at how we account for the uh, years here 20x3 through 20x7. So 20x3 we're going to have some profit that we've made here uh, based on our financial income here and then 20x4 and 20x5 we're going to have two years here back to back we're going to have some pre-tax or some net operating losses here. No profit made but a net operating loss for each of those years and then 20x7 and 20 or 20x6 and 20x7 we're going to have some profits. So let's start here with we're going to be looking how we record here our taxes here for 20x3, 20x6, and 20x7 as profitable years here. But we're going to look at here how we handle 20x4 and 20x5 where we have these net operating losses for the year here. So first let's look at how we handle this uh, these net operating losses. So let's start with 20x4 here. I'm indicating that here as our entries B. And for that year, we have a net operating loss of $160,000. So when you're doing your tax accounting here, you first have to look at carrying back the loss here. And we said there's a two-year carry back on this $160,000 loss. So what we're going to look at is the first year here of that two-year carry back. That would be 20x2 here. Uh, we have a $250,000 profit for that year here. So we can offset this $250,000 profit uh, by the $160,000 loss. So the entire loss will be as absorbed here in our carry back here in year 20x2 of $250,000. So 20x4 uh, loss here, carry back, we're going to carry it back and absorb the total amount here in 20x2. That's that 20x4 loss here of 160000 Now, let's move down here to 20x5 here. This is a little different situation here. Now, we're going to have a $350,000 loss. Total amount here, net operating loss for the year here. So again, we go by these ground rules here. You take the 350000 and you're going to carry them back, uh, two years back. So we're going to start uh, we have the year 20x5, so our first carry back would go to two years here. The previous two years start with 20x3 here. That would be the $90,000 worth of profit that we have here for the year. So we can offset the $350,000 worth of this loss here by that $90,000 profit here in year 20x3. But we Assuming that we're going to have profits here in the beginning years here, we're going to have the difference here. We're going to have um, a carry forward here. So you see we had the three, we could carry back $90,000 worth of this $350,000 loss here, uh, that starting with our first year here, uh, of, our, of the set first year of that carry back, that two years here of uh, $90,000. But then if we moved into our second year here, you see we have an operating loss. So we can't absorb any of this $350,000 by that next year here, that second year of the carry back, $160,000, because it's a loss. There's nothing there to absorb. So what we have to do is we have to look at a loss carry forward in this example here. So for 20x5 here, you're going to have a loss carry forward. This simply the difference here between the 350,000 uh, uh, net operating loss for the year here minus the 90,000 that, uh, that we absorbed here in year 20x3 here. So we have a loss carry forward here for 20x5 here of $260,000. $350,000 total loss here, or net operating loss, less what we absorbed here in year 20x3. Okay, so let's go down and let's look at how we'd record this here. So let's first start with our B item here, this 20x4 loss here 
of $160,000. So remember, we were able to absorb, uh, move it back here, carry it back two years. We were able to absorb the whole 160,000 here by the $250,000 profit here in year 20X2. So what we would have is a tax refund here on that 20X2 uh, profit here. So what we would do is we take the loss here of 160,000 times the important thing here is whatever the tax rate or we paid in that year here 20x2 and that was 35%. So we take this would be our refund here. We have $160,000 worth of loss here times the 35% tax rate gives us a tax refund receivable. You'd have to record this as a tax refund receivable here on your balance sheet. That would be like an asset here. So you would debit that here for 56,000. Simply the 160,000 times that tax rate here of 20x2 of 35%. Now, Okay, so we have our debit here for our tax refund. Now, where does our credit go here? So we're going to set up, you have to set up this uh, a tax benefit due here on your income statement. The tax refund was on our balance sheet here, but on our tax, on our uh, income statement, we set up this account here, tax benefit due, due to the loss carry back. Now, what we have to point out here, this is a contra expense account here on the income statement. This is going to reduce the tax expense. So if you would look, we can go down and look at our tax expense account, but in the case of your tax expense, a debit would be an increase. In case of the tax benefit here, debit would be a decrease here, contra account. And the credit is the increase here because it's a contra account. So what we would do here is we'd credit that here for $56,000. We had the debit here, our tax refund here for $56,000. Now we're going to have a uh, credit here to a tax benefit due, due to the loss carry back here of $56,000. Okay, so we've taken care of our 20x4 loss here, our net operating loss. Now let's move into our 20x5 net operating loss here of $350,000. So first off, what we would do here, remember we could carry back uh, 90,000 of that we could absorb here in year 20x3. So let's move down here. So for our tax refund based on that 20x3 absorbing a 90,000, in this case, we take it times 30%. So if you go up here to your 90,000, you see you had a 30% tax right here. So 30% uh, of 90,000 here is gonna give you a tax refund here for uh, based on that uh, $90,000 worth of carry back here of $27,000. Again, we credit debit that or increase our tax refund here by $27,000. But then going over to our tax benefit due, due to the loss carry back, we, we would credit that again here. That's that contra account. Contra tax expense account reduces our tax expense here. So credit that here for $27,000. Now, we've taken care of the carry back portion here. Uh, that we could of the 90,000. Now we have to work with our carry forward. That's that remaining amount here that we have to carry forward. So uh, we, that would be the $260,000 worth. So what we would do in this case, you have to set, go down to our account here. You have to set up a deferred tax asset here. That's a deferred, for our deferred taxes here, asset here on our balance sheet here. And then you're gonna set up again, a tax benefit due due to the loss carry forward here on the income statement. So for uh, looking at our deferred tax asset, that was the difference here. That total 300, if you're going up here, the 350,000 minus the 90,000, that would be $260,000 worth of deferred tax asset here. So what we would do here in that case, you, again, you take it times your tax rate. That was that, if we went back up here, you see we have uh, for the loss carry forward for that year here, we're gonna have that 30% tax rate here. So what you would do here for, for your, let's just look at a tax benefit here. So if the loss carry forward, you would have the 350,000 minus the 90,000 that you already absorbed times 30%. That would give you 78,000 here. So credit your tax benefit due to your loss carry forward here for $78,000. That's simply the 260,000 difference here times that 30% tax rate. So you have your tax benefit due here on your income statement for your loss carry forward. And that was credited to here for 78,000. Now you set up your deferred tax asset here because you're going to have deferred taxes on that, that would be an asset. You're not gonna have to pay taxes in the future on uh, on this 
it would be the difference here, that $78,000. So debit your deferred tax asset here for $78,000. So for 20X5, we've taken care of our 350,000 here. We had the uh, carry back here, uh, 90,000 times 30% or 27,000 here, do tax benefit due uh, to the carry back here. And then we've taken care of our carry forward here for that uh, uh, 20X5 here, showing it here. Okay, so we've taken care of our year 20x5 here for the uh, loss carry back and the loss carry forward. Now let's go down and let's look at how we're going to just pay our regular taxes here in those profitable years here. And that would be year 20x3 here and year 20x6 and 20x7. So 20x3 is, uh, it doesn't, it clear enough here. You're just going to take, uh, you had that $90,000 worth of income here for the year here. So what we would do in this case, you just set up a tax payable here. So uh, again, a liability account here on your balance sheet, you would credit that or increase that for the 90,000 here. And then for that year here, 20X3, remember we had that 30% tax rate here. So 30% times your 90,000 gives you a credit here of increase our tax payable here, liability amount by 27,000. And then moving over to our Debit amount here, that's going to go to a tax expense here on our income statement here. Debit that here for $27,000. So that's simple enough here for that uh, first year here that we're looking at 20X3. Now let's look at years 20X6 and 20X7 where we have uh, been looking at our amounts here. 20X6, we had the 120000 20X7, we have the 100 the $100,000 worth of pre-tax income here as a profit or a income that we're looking at. So what you're going to do here in this case, we'll move up to this deferred tax asset. This is where we're going to use up that deferred tax asset. So for that first portion or that first year here, 20X6, the $120,000 times the 30% tax rate, that's going to give us, we're going to reduce our deferred tax asset here by $36,000. Okay, we reduce it 120,000 times 30% credit here for uh, reduce our deferred tax asset here by 36,000. Now, the debit amount is going to go to our tax expense here on our income statement. So we debit that here for $36,000 here. You're in 20x6 here. And then let's just look at 20x7 real quick. Same thing here. We're going to have that $100,000 worth of. Uh, income here for the year here or pre-tax income here. So you take that times your tax rate here 30%. That's going to give you 30 a reduction here to your deferred tax asset. You're using it up here uh, by $30,000. So credit reduce your deferred tax th asset here by $30,000 and the debit amount is going to go to your tax expense on the income statement. Same as for your 20x tax. Only you're taking re uh, increasing your tax expense here by $30,000 here for 20X7. So we've really went through several things here in this profit. For uh, those profitable years here, we are, we're, in the future here, we're able to use up our deferred tax asset here for the profit that we experienced here. And that would, is it's reducing our tax expense or we're recognizing it as tax expense here and we're reducing and we're reducing our deferred tax asset here and then the other thing was those loss carry forwards and loss carry backs we dealt with those here where we had successive years here where we had some loss losses here in pre-tax income and we were able to carry them back here and also in one case, we carried it some back and also some carried forward. So that will just sum up our little problem here where we're dealing with these uh, carry backs and carry forwards of net operating losses.